Welcome to the Misericordia Health Centre, Manitoba's Eye Care Centre of Excellence. Today you'll be learning all about retinal injections, where a medication is injected into your eye. It may sound scary, but don't worry, your eye will be frozen to help keep you comfortable during this quick procedure. The medication is used to treat damage to the retina caused by blood vessels leaking in the back of your eye. These retinal injections are for the treatment of blocked blood vessels, diabetes, or wet macular degeneration. These injections are not a treatment for dry macular degeneration. Your retina specialist will determine the type of medication which is best for you and the series of injections necessary depending on your condition. Typically your treatment would begin with three to six monthly injections. When your retina specialist feels your condition has stabilized and your vision is demonstrating some improvement, then the time between your injections will be extended. So you may be treated every six weeks, then every eight weeks, then every 10 weeks, and so forth. You'll be monitored regularly to check your eye's response to the longer breaks between the treatments. For blocked blood vessels and diabetic retinal disease, treatments usually last for two to three years. For wet macular degeneration, however, you should expect to continue treatments indefinitely. Before your injections begin, you'll be given printed information about your condition and the medication. Your retina specialist will carefully review the goals of the treatment and the risk before you are asked to sign a consent form. It's important to let your retina specialist know if you are booked for an eye surgery, for example, cataract surgery, so your treatments can be staggered. If you have any questions before you begin treatment or at any time, please call your retina specialist's office. The injections can happen in your retina specialist's office or at the Misericordia Health Center. We recommend patients should not drive after injection appointments, especially if both eyes are being injected. Please bring your Manitoba Health Card or other insurance coverage information with you. If you become sick or for any reason are unable to keep your appointment, please call your retina specialist's office. Every effort will be made to reschedule your appointment promptly. It's very important with the timing of your treatments to stay on schedule to avoid a significant impact to your vision. If you're driving to the Misericordia, our parkade is located at 25 Sherbrooke Street in Winnipeg. The second level of the parkade, level 2B, is reserved for patient parking. Please proceed to the second floor Bueller Eye Care Clinics, which is directly across from our overpass. At the blue desk, patient registration, you'll need to take a number. When you're being registered, you'll need to show your Manitoba health card or other insurance coverage information. Here's Lyle, one of my patients. He's here for a retinal injection today. You will then be directed to the red desk where you'll need to put your patient registration sheet face down into the tray and take a seat in the waiting room. Please understand there may be a wait and we appreciate your patience. Some days are busier than others depending on emergencies. You may require additional exams the day of your appointment. When it's your turn, a healthcare aide will call your name and bring you to the treatment room. In the treatment room, a nurse will ask you a few questions to verify your medical information. You will also be asked which eye or eyes are being treated, right, left, or both. The nurse will put a series of freezing drops in your eyes, which will work in seconds. The nurse will then clean your outer eye with an iodine solution and help keep your eyelids open during the procedure so you don't accidentally blink. When you are ready, the retina specialist will use a small needle to inject the medication into the vitreous, the jelly-like substance inside your eye between the lens and the retina. You shouldn't feel any pain. You may feel some pressure during the injection though. If you find the injection uncomfortable, you will be given extra freezing in the future. Your eye is cleaned again after the injection. The typical process takes about 10 to 15 minutes. After your injection, you will be given information about your next appointment. Let's check in with my patient Lyle after his injection to see how he's doing. Actually, it's fabulous. It uh, went very well and uh, exceeded my expectations. Uh, it's just a little poke and actually it doesn't hurt. And basically you get up and it's a little blurry and that, but uh, you get everything you need to leave the, uh, the injection room and, and you're, you're fine, on your way. Basically, between the freezing and the way you're treated and talked to, you're, it, it's very comfortable and it, other than a little pinch when the needle went in, it was basically plain, painless 
and uh, you get your eyes a little blurry when you first get up but that disappears as the day goes on and uh, it's uh, a lot better than uh, not having the injection. Every patient responds differently to the treatment. Some patients don't notice much of a difference while others have a vast improvement in their vision. The timing also varies. Some patients notice the difference right away while for others it may take some time. It's important that you do not rub your eye, especially in the first hour after treatment, as your eye is still frozen and you may accidentally scratch it. You shouldn't swim or go in a hot tub for two days after an eye injection. You also shouldn't have any dental work for two days following injections. We recommend you use lubricating drops, also known as artificial tears, available over the counter at pharmacies for one to two days following your injections. Side effects of injections may include eye pain or a scratchy, gritty irritation, bloodshot eye, temporary new floaters, mild swelling in the eye, or a feeling like there's something in your eye. These side effects are normal and will subside over time. For mild discomfort, pharmacy over-the-counter pain relief medications can be taken. Please call your retina specialist's office if you have severe eye pain not relieved by pain relieving medication, a change in vision, blurry or decreased vision, increased sensitivity to light, increased floaters, continued redness or swelling of the eye, yellow or green discharge from the eye. There is a risk of infection with injections, so don't wait to contact your retina specialist's office. If you're unable to reach your retina specialist, please visit the Misericordia Health Center. Misericordia is open 24-7 for emergency eye care. Go straight to patient registration on the first floor. If you live outside of Winnipeg, please visit the nearest health center. And that's all you need to know about your retina injection patient journey.